Hello everyone, this is Clint with Gotta Get It Done, where we, I like to talk about technology, productivity, and using technology for productivity. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, using Siri shortcuts on your Apple Watch. Uh, it's probably a lot of people don't realize you can actually use uh, Siri shortcuts on your Apple Watch. And uh, I'll, I'll show you a few of the things, how to use it, and um, how to make it more useful for you. Um, let's see, let's unlock this guy here. Okay, so we're going to get to the Shortcuts app by going through the thing. And if you go down here, there's the Shortcuts icon. And it drops you right into Shortcuts. And what it presents you is a list of shortcuts on your watch that you can just press, just like a, the Shortcut app in your phone. Uh, but however, you see a problem here. And I think this is a, a common problem that a lot of people have um, that you realize these are a lot of shortcuts. So... Um, if you have a lot of shortcuts, then this is not going to be very useful for you. You want to be able to use your watch uh, for real quickly to run a shortcut and not have to scroll through this entire um, mess here. So where do these shortcuts come from and how do, I, how do we get rid of that a little bit more? And I'll show you here on the uh, shortcuts app. So if we... Oh, my mark. So if we get to the shortcuts app here, you'll notice here you have um, a section called Apple Watch. And so that means every single one of these is on the Apple Watch. Um, and of course, a lot of these you don't want on the Apple Watch. So the, how do you fix that? Okay, so um, if you go to a, a, a shortcut and you hit the three buttons there, um, and then if you hit, then here's your shortcut. And then if you hit um, this button right here, this, I'm not sure, what, what do you call that? I'm not sure. The... The button with lines and dashes in it. So you click that there, and then what you're going to see is right there, you're going to see that show on Apple Watch, um, which then um, will bring it onto your Shortcuts uh, app in your Apple Watch. To get rid of it, all you got to do is unclick that. And all you have to do is think about when you're creating a shortcut that you unclick that if it's not one, a shortcut that you want to actually have on your uh, app watch uh, then you hit done and then close out and then now you can see that one's gone from the apple watch list and we're down to 41 which looks like i need to seriously clean out my holy man okay so how does how does one use these let me pop this back open again okay so we go back over here to the uh, shortcut menu and i just want to run a few of these uh, to show you that sometimes they won't work and sometimes they work really cool. Um, and one of those I want to show um, that I do actually use a lot because it's kind of nice not to pull out my phone for this. Um, and that is the... Like I said, I need to clean this off. So give me just a second. Okay, we're back. The one I wanted to show specifically to show how you interact with a shortcut that requires text input is this calculate tip one. And so um, if you have your watch on, you can just cl click calculate your tip and it says, what is the bill? Uh, so you have the ability to use Siri for it. You have the ability to uh, draw it out. You get a number pad or a full keyboard. And of course, this is just going to be numbers. So I'm just going to hit the number pad. Let's put $25. Um, and then you hit done, and then it's going to go to the next phase. And how much would you like to tip? You can pick any of these, let's say 20%, and then it's going to give it to you. Uh, your tip is $5, and your total is $30. Works really good. That's what this app is, is made to do, or the shortcut is made to do. And works just the same in the phone itself as it does on the watch. So hit OK there. Another one, same basic concept, uh, weight and body fat. I uh, that's just a shortcut so I can easily log these two in there. And the same thing is going to happen. You're going to get your question, what is your weight? Uh, you put that in there. You hit done. It's going to run. It gives you a little uh, vibration each time too, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, then it's going to ask you the next question. This is uh, body fat. So you put that in there. And then boom, done. It's going to log it into my health app, no problem. And you have several of those like log water um, you know, if you hit the log water one, you, it gives you the list of what you can choose from, you know, you can hit 12 ounces and it's going to log it. This is really handy, uh, just having it on your watch and, uh, not having to pull your phone out, which I think is pretty great. Now, some of them will not work. Um, like this one right here, I have a, a Hey Google one, which actually will open up, um, open up Google and I'll be able to start talking right away, but it only works on the phone. So if you, if you hit, hit. Uh, that one particular one, it gives you that error right there. So 
Um, it just says it can't run it. So you'll, you'll know pretty quickly which ones you can't run. Um, but, uh, don't, don't, don't make you think that just because it can't do it on the watch. An example is, uh, on the, on, um, my tracking app, I have a sh uh, several shortcuts to start specific, uh, trackers, time trackers, and they work really good on, on the watch itself too. Um, but they don't actually run on the watch cause the app's on the phone, right? So you can hit this, uh, let's see if I go over here to my, my app, my tracking app, what you're going to see here can't see it, I guess, is if I click that there, it's going to run, and voila, you, oh, crash, sorry, iOS 15 has been crashing a few of my apps lately, as you can see now, it started my timer, so the timer is now running here, uh, and running on the phone, so it can uh, make your phone do things through the shortcuts app, which I think is pretty handy, um, anyways, this works really good. You can use this for a lot of automations. If you have home automations you want to put on here or, uh, you know, you have certain scenes you can just run from your watch, which is really nice. Uh, and of course, you know, you can always run a shortcut from Siri, but we always don't want to be talking to Siri. Uh, sometimes we just want to push a button like movie time right here. If I push this button right here, it's going to go ahead and set a scene for movie time, which means it's going to set all my lights upstairs in my TV room. Um, and I can just do that straight from the watch. It works really well. Uh, one last thing I wanted to show you real quick is the complication for shortcuts you can also use on the watch. So um, if you want to edit your watch face, you can add a complication. And if you come up here to the shortcut one, you can see shortcuts right here. And then you can actually pick a shortcut um, that will be the complication. So you can put that one right there. That's going to be that uh, shortcut. And so it'll automatically run it as soon as you hit the complication. And it'll say run it. And then voila, look at there, it goes right to it and runs the shortcut. So super fast way to um, run your shortcut. If you And you can do that in multiple places if you have multiple shortcuts. If you, um, anyways, um, that's all I really wanted to show you. Uh, a lot of people don't realize they can use shortcuts on their Apple Watch. Uh, this is a real simple way to get to your shortcuts. However, I do highly recommend uh, you go through... <laughs> Through all, through all your uh, shortcuts and make sure you get rid of the ones that you don't want on your watch. So if you only have like four or five you wanted to use, you get the rest of those out and it's going to be super, super quick to do that. Um, everybody, thanks for uh, watching and uh, I appreciate you staying till the end and I'll see you on the next one.